Now, which layer is the bottom one and what is in the top layer? We will have to know the densities of the two solvents that we have used to know which is the bottom layer and which is the top layer. We have used ethyl acetate, the organic solvent, and our aqueous layer is water. Ethyl acetate happens to be lighter. It has a lower density than water. So, ethyl acetate or the organic layer will be the top layer and our aqueous layer which contains the conjugate base of the acid is in the bottom layer. Okay, as you notice there is a nice boundary between the two layers so we can drain the bottom layer out. Now where will this bottom layer go? It has to be drained to the 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask which was labeled aqueous because we are collecting the aqueous layer. So move the waste beaker to the side. Place the Erlenmeyer flask, the one that's labeled aqueous and slowly drain the bottom layer by opening the stopper. Notice that I am using my left hand to support. Just in case sometimes the stopcocks are loose, it may pop out and you may lose the solution. That is why I always use the second hand to support it. So the aqueous layer is draining. The margin between the two layers or the boundary between the layers is getting closer to the stopcock. If you are not very sure of controlling the stopcocks, reduce the rate of flow now so it can go a little slowly. And when do we stop it? When this layer demarcation reaches the Teflon plug, you can close the stopcock. Now I am ready to do the second extraction with sodium hydroxide again. Remember we said you should extract it twice with sodium hydroxide. That is what is meant by extraction with sodium hydroxide twice. So I am going to take another 10 ml portion of sodium hydroxide. Now we have the second 10 milliliter portion of sodium hydroxide. Let us pour it in. We do the same thing that we did before. Place the stopper. Take the funnel out. Invert it holding the stopper against the palm. Open. You heard the hissing again. Close. Shake gently, release the pressure, shake it a little bit more, release the pressure. If you notice any drop flying through the stem, give it a little time for that drop to fall back, then stop it. That was a little bit more vigorous shaking. Open it. Close it. By shaking, what we are doing is making sure that the components that should go into the aqueous layer are indeed going into that layer. Or, in other words, the acid is reacting with sodium hydroxide. We want to ensure that all of the acid is reacting with sodium hydroxide. 
last shaking release stop put it back making sure that it is sitting in the Erlenmeyer flask and the rinsing of the stopper as we did before wait for a few minutes for the layers to separate and then catch the bottom aqueous layer in the same container that was labeled aqueous or in the same 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask in which we collected the first aqueous layer. So once you have waited for a few minutes you drain it down again Use your left hand to support it and then slow down as the layer is approaching the Teflon plug. Now, stop it. Now, this layer that is labeled aqueous contains the conjugate base of the acid. We are going to work with it a little later, so let us put it aside. <laughs> 